Good morning. This is the Tennessee Journalist News Roundup for the week of October 22, 2012. I'm Todd Roberts. Recent rumors about Iran and the U.S. coming to talks about nuclear weapons have been denied by both the White House and Iranian governments. The New York Times first reported that the U.S. and Iran had agreed to face-to-face talks after the election. Iran is currently suffering from economic sanctions as well as an effective oil embargo led by the European Union. These issues have led to some to believe that the talks between Iran and the United States would be possible. However, both parties have said that this is not so. At the moment, the leadership in Iran is certain that they can continue their defiance and hold out on the negotiations for a long time to come. Diet soda might just be the path to better health. More people are drinking it over sugary drinks every year, and hospital officials are saying that this is the healthier path to take. A recent study suggests this. According to Boston Children's Hospital officials, overweight teenagers who received home deliveries of water and zero-calorie drinks for one year did significantly better at limiting their weight gain compared to other groups of teens who were drinking sugary drinks. The overall effect by switching to non-sugar drinks is a loss of four pounds a year. However, this was the only change in the children's diet. Danish researcher Bjorn Richelson says that this is an insignificant reduction. However, Diet soda is a positive baby step in weaning people from sugar. Senator George McGovern, best known for losing the 1972 presidential election to Richard Nixon, has died. He was 90 years old. It was a landslide loss to Nixon in 1972. His candidacy was mainly based on his opposition to the Vietnam War. He won a seat in Congress in 1956 and later a Senate seat in 1963 where he served three terms before losing in 1980. Originally a history professor, he went back to teaching after losing another presidential bid in 1984. He spoke on many issues, most notably alcoholism, which claimed the life of his daughter at the age of 45. McGovern's passing resembled his closing statements of an acceptance speech at a campaign 40 years ago this summer. So let us close on this note. May God grant each one of us the wisdom to cherish the good land and to meet the great challenge that beckons us home. And now is the time to meet that challenge. Good night, and Godspeed to you all. For more info, you can go to TNJN.com. For TNJN News, I'm Todd Roberts.